What is going on everybody, your boy Jeffrey Gamer back at you with another LSPDFR GTA 5 tutorial. And today guys and gals, I have another realism mod for you. You know how I am with the realism. I love it. I love it in my patrols. Um, and this mod is especially good if you use a uh, steering wheel with the gas pedal and brake. Today we are going to be installing the stop reversing while braking mod. And as an added bonus within this mod, it's also got real brake lights. So I'll explain it as we go in it. I already have my game loaded. I think you're absolutely gonna love this. I've been looking for a mod like this for quite a while and I finally came across one that works and it works well and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, real quick, before we do get into this, I just wanna send out a friendly reminder, okay? Today is the 14th. At some point today, tonight, tomorrow gta will be updating folks you don't have much more time to back up your game file uh through rage if you don't know how to do it or if you haven't done it already i will drop my video link down below okay um explaining how to back it up make sure you do that okay so with that being said let's go ahead and let's jump into this tutorial go ahead and click the stop reversing uh link down below that is going to bring you here now you do need script hook b which everybody has because if you're playing lspdfr um everybody has script hook b and you also need script hook v dot net okay if you do not have either one of these google them download them it's super easy to do okay so once you have those in your game Go ahead and click the green download. This is from I am J Fry, and it's an awesome, awesome mod. I was just playing with it. It's absolutely great. So once you hit the green download, you're gonna hit the green download again. And I think I already have it, so I'm gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be going twice, that's okay. So once it downloads, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna exit out of my web browser. So we have our stop reversing while backing 1.4 WinRAR. Let's go ahead and bring up our main directory. For Steam users, this is how you get to it. You're gonna to go to your local disk drive that you have it installed in. Program files times 86. Steam. Steam apps. And common. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and double click the file that you wanna put it in. Just double click that. Now, you need a scripts folder for this, okay? This is your main directory front page. This is where your mods folder is going to be, your plugins, your LSPDFR, logs, launcher, installers, ELS. This is the front page. As you see, I have a scripts folder. If you do not have a scripts folder, go over here to your little buffer zone here, right click, add new folder. And you're simply just going to write in all lowercase S C R I P T S. All right. Once you do that, you're just gonna go ahead and hit enter. I'm gonna put scripts one. You're just gonna put scripts. I'm gonna put scripts one because I already have a scripts folder. So I'm just gonna put scripts one so I can delete it. So once you created your scripts folder, it'll look just like that, all lowercase. And then you double click it and yours will be empty. That's totally cool. All you wanna do folks is you wanna go over your WinRAR. You're gonna grab these two files here and you're gonna drag them into the scripts folder and drop them, all right? Once you drop them in, you will see these files will now be over here. Uh, you can hit your refresh if you want, and then we can go back, and you can double click your scripts folder just to make sure it's in there, and it is in there, guys and gals. So we are all set with this WinRAR. We are all set with the uh, main directory. We can go ahead and close out our file explorer, and folks, all I gotta do is just jump right into the game with you guys. All right, everybody, so here we are in the game, and I got my Aventador loaded up. Now, let's hop in here. Now, as you all know, when, you, when you're when you driving and you, you come up to a red light or whatever, you want to stop, and you hold your, your brake, whether it's the S button on the keyboard or the L2 on your, key, on your controller, when you come to a stop, your car will then go into reverse, and it's just, it's a pain in the butt, and I've been looking 
I, I've looked and I've come across ones that were just awful. They they changed the way the car drove or they didn't work too good. This one works flawlessly, folks. All right. So let's say we're just going to go cruise, right? And we hit our brakes. Now I'm going to hold my brake in. You see the brake lights come on. Now the brake lights are still on. You can see them on the ground. Okay. Now I have my left trigger pushed in. You can see the car is not going in reverse. If I want to go in reverse, I'm going to let go of the trigger and hit it again. Now, if you want to stop and then go in reverse real quick, it's super easy. It's just a flick of a button, right? Now, I can hit that brake and I can let go of that of the of the brake and my brake lights will still stay on. That's the realism part that I'm talking about when you're sitting at a red light. As soon as you even you hit your gas the slightest, they turn off. All right? So, you know, you're at a red light, you got your brakes on, you're making a right-hand turn. Oops. You're making a right-hand turn, got your blinker, you hit the left-hand turn, got your blinker, and then the brake lights go off. Now, let me go to a vehicle that's got a little more, uh, a little more brake light to see. That one might be good right there. Let's try this car out. Gotta make sure to turn that radio off as soon as I get inside of it. There we go, turn that off. Alright, so here we go. Now let's try this with the with the uh, with the keyboard. I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it my best shot. Jesus, I don't know how you guys and gals do this. Now I'll hit my S button, there's the brake lights. And it works for keyboard too. Look at that. Let go of the S. Brake lights are still on. Yeah, I want to make a left-hand turn. Make a right-hand turn. It's just great. This is so great, guys and gals. I absolutely love it. So now, when you're sitting at a red light, and from what the description said, it, this is great for steering wheel, uh, gas pedal, and brake pedal users. So when you press your brake in. It, it's it's gonna stop and it'll stop and it'll keep them brake lights on as long as you have that brake that brake uh, pressed so that is it guys and gals i really hope you enjoyed this mod as much as i do uh give it a try install it it's super easy create a scripts folder drop those two files in you're good to go loads in automatically you don't have to load it in or anything like that uh this also works for regular gta uh it does not have to be lspdfr um, obviously, it's it's single player only, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna pull up and let's go ahead and start hitting our brake. That is so great. That is so awesome. I love it. I hope you love it as much as I do. I hope it adds a little more realism to your game. Uh, I think it will. Go ahead and try it out, folks. Don't forget to check down below for the how to back up your game file video. Go do that. We have less than 24 hours before Rockstar releases that update. So go do that right away, guys and gals. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out.